Okay, I'm not going to have a separate quote unquote lab portion for this. This command is very straightforward. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, I'm on R1 here, and basically I've just issued a show run command just to show you that there's no passwords in, um, configured on this router. I don't have an enable password set up. I don't have any users or anything like that. I also don't have a minimum length password enforced. So unfortunately with this command there is no real show command to verify. It wouldn't be like show security password min length and it would tell you what it was. You can do this by checking out the uh, running configuration or I guess by finding out the hard way when you try to configure a password that does not meet the minimum length requirement. Alright let's get into configuration mode. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to configure an enable password. Oops. And we'll just make it packet lab. Now oh, why'd I do that? Alright. Delete that bit. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to configure an enable password. And it won't be packet lab because I want it to be something short, so I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five of five characters and set that. So what I want to show you here is with the security password min length, um, if I set a minimum length here now of let's say six, and this is a command, it's really this is the only argument that you can give it. If I configure a minimum password length of six, hit enter, my enable password is still one, two, three, four, five. And we can see this if get out of here and disable. Disable will set you into privilege level one. And so now in order to get back into privilege level 15, you type enable and specify that password, 2345. You have to trust me that I'm typing in what I say. Hit enter, and so we're in privilege level 15. So you can see it does not go back and retroactively check out the command, I'm sorry, the passwords that are already configured on there. So even though you have minimum password length 6 set, it's not going to affect that pre-existing password. That might be something you want to keep in mind that you're not going in and really hardening routers after the fact by you know, configuring this command and setting it to 16 because if you have something that's less than 16 for your password it's going to remain that way. Okay, so let's get back into configuration. And what we'll do here is we will try to set a username password here. Username, packet lab, password, one, two, three, four, five. So this does not meet the minimum password length requirement, and we should get flagged on this, and we do. So there you go. You can see it in operation here. So really, that's that's the crux of it. Uh, we could play with the enable password now and try and set it to something less, and we get the same thing. So now, what is interesting is what is the enable password? It should still be one, two, three, four, five. So. It, it failed here. We did not configure that. So these passwords that don't meet this minimum length are not going to actually end up in the running config. And really that's all that I have for uh, a quote unquote lab for this feature. Alright, let's summarize this sucker and get on out of here. Uh, while in most production environments, usernames and passwords will be handled by an authentication server such as Attack X Plus or Radius server, you're still going to need to know a little bit about configuring passwords on the local device and how to best implement those passwords. I showed you a couple of cases where you're going to be using those local passwords so you're going to want to have a password policy in effect and have it followed. Like I said most of the general password best practices you cannot enforce from Cisco iOS but using the security passwords minimum length does allow you to enforce the minimum password length which is actually fairly important when we saw how that helps to mitigate brute force attacks so you could see that even a you know specifying something as relatively simple as a six character minimum password is going to help you out against brute force attacks and honestly dumb network admins that want to use a or one two three as their password now as always you want to weigh security versus usability so while setting the minimum password length to the maximum, in this case 16 characters, is the most secure thing you can do, it might not be the best thing for your business. 16 characters tends to be quite long for passwords, and at that point, while you might be securing these, what you might be pushing your users into doing is actually like, well, I can't remember 16 characters, uh, I'm going to go ahead and write it down on a piece of paper so I have it there, and then 
tape it to my monitor so security <laughs> averted I, like I said there, there's a fine line you want to make sure that you're secure but you're not affecting usability to the point where it's a pain in the ass I think that Cisco's uh, I've gotten their supposed default of six characters that's a good starting point it's a good quote unquote minimum minimum length because I would start out with a minimum length of six characters and then you know go up to seven eight or whatever you feel comfortable with from there okay so that's it for this lesson thanks for joining me in the packet lab as always i hope this is beneficial and i hope to see you again soon